Welcome to another beautiful day here in Chile. No cream. Today we're going to talk about different stories, hang out together, speak in English, and things are gonna get hot. Let me tell you, our invited guest for today is, uh, well, we're gonna have, we're gonna have some laughs today, let me tell you that. This is The Gringo Show on La Red. Today, I want to talk to you about my experience moving here to Chile. Because when I moved here, I had two big suitcases and one carry-on backpack. And you really have to think about the important things in your life that you want to keep in Chile when you move to another country. So today we're going to be talking about what was in my bag when I came here to Chile. The most ridiculous thing that I brought to Chile was a golf club. I can't believe that I brought a golf club because where I'm from now in Linares, Chile, there are no golf courses anywhere around our town. So my golf club still just sits in the closet and I guess I'll use it if there's a robber. Pow! But otherwise it's just... One thing that I don't regret bringing here to Chile was our dog. A dog is a part of your family and you can't live without your part of the family, your dog. Even though it was really difficult to bring our dog here to Chile, you have to do a lot of customs, a lot of paperwork, it was completely worth it. Now we have two dogs from Chile, and the question is, do they speak in Spanish or in English? Let me know on Twitter. Something that someone from the United States should think about bringing here to Chile are electronics. Electronics here in Chile are super expensive, and bringing electronics is imperative to being able to talk with your family back in the United States. So thinking about good electronics was a good move before coming here to Chile. Another dumb thing that I brought from the United States to Chile that I didn't think existed here in Chile, I can't believe why, were a spatula, a whisk, and a knife. How in the world did I have that thought that in Chile, utensils didn't exist? Of course they exist. What was I thinking wasting precious space in my suitcases to bring basic household utensils? What are some things that you would bring with you if you had to move from our beautiful country of Chile to another country? For me, I always take one backpack full of maraqueta and a whole suitcase full of super ochos, and I do not share. I love the food here in Chile. It is so delicious, and that's the thing that I like to bring with me wherever I go. But let me know what you guys think on Twitter. What's something that you would bring from Chile to another country? While we prepare our sexy food for today, I wanted to tell you about some news that you're not going to want to miss. Starting with UFOs. Do UFOs exist? There was a recent flight by American Airlines going from Cincinnati, Ohio to Phoenix, Arizona that the pilot saw this massive cylinder object going over the plane and almost hit them. What was it? Was it a UFO? Or was it a missile? Do you believe in UFOs? What a crazy story, and I'm glad that I missed the airplane. <sighs> Have you not been able to sleep at night? You're not alone. There are a lot of people suffering what is called insomnia, where you can't sleep at night. And there are three really good ways that you can sleep just like a baby again. And the New York Times gave those three ways. One is to put on some white noise. <sighs> Another is to take a heavy blanket and put it over you, like your little baby being wrapped up. And the other way is to uh, sleep on your stomach. Have you tried these ways before? Are you suffering from insomnia during this pandemic where there are just so many crazy things going on? Maybe some of these ways will help you. In Russia, blue and green dogs are showing up in random cities. How crazy is that? Have you ever seen a green or a blue dog? Apparently, they got into some chemicals that they weren't supposed to be eating or rolling around in, and they're turning colors. Do you think it's the chemicals, though, or somebody spray-painted them? Either way, I feel bad for these poor little dogs. In a recent news article, there was a long list of very famous songs, a lot of sex noises in them. And 
Those people range from Madonna to Britney Spears. But my real question is this. Did our invited guest for today have anything to do with the sex noises in Madonna, Britney Spears songs that they have, the popular songs that we know and love? Was she responsible for that? Today's invited guest is actually from the United States, a state called Missouri, and she's been here for 19 years, and I can't wait to learn. I'm going to learn uh, a lot from her, let me just tell you that, and uh, I'm so excited. She's a very, very popular person who took the taboo out of sex toys. Please welcome Happy Jane. It's rare, so we can say whatever we want to you. You can say whatever you want. An English show. You know, it's you know, I get more embarrassed talking about sex stuff in English. I think that's one of the reasons why I could talk about sex so openly and freely because it was like it wasn't really saying the words because it was in Spanish. So now your whole family is going to hear I it know, back in the United States. I know. We're going to send them the video. I know. <laughs> well, yes, I'm from Missouri. You're from Wisconsin, not too far away. You do have warmer weather than I do, though. Yes, that's. True. So. I've been to Wisconsin several times. I've okay. been Halloween uh, parties at the University of Wisconsin are legendary. Oh, they're crazy. Yes. Absolutely crazy. If you want to go to University of Wisconsin, it is the party school yes. of the world. It's exactly. crazy. Yeah, so I had a very good time when I was in, in college when going driving up to Wisconsin. So you're from the United States. Yes. Okay, you've been here for about 19 years. Yeah. And I've been here for only almost six years. Yeah. So what's something Still. that you would recommend for me in the next 14 years that I'm here in Chile that maybe uh, I don't know yet. Um, I think you're going to go perfecting the use of weon in all of its all of its forms. Use it as a verb. Use it as an adjective. Uh, use it as a noun. All, all those things. La wea con la wea. O sea, everything, it, it really takes, I would say, I still am learning after 19 years, the proper use of weon. And so I think you need to work on that. I'm sure you don't have it down yet after six years. There's a lot of subtleties. I remember the very first time I called one of my friends, weona, in, in buena onda, como, oye, weona, como emocionada. And that, was, that took me at least... It was at least five years uh, to do that first. So, I mean, I think you, you don't have to be in confianza. You have to... That was my issue, okay? Have you ever called one of your friends a weon? Yeah, all the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, the problem is, I didn't know exactly what it meant. I knew that with my friends, I could say weon, like buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, yeah. pal. So, then I would go to the school that I was teaching at, and I would go to the professors and say, hey, weon, how's it going? Oh. Get out. No. Oh, no. <laughs> See, you don't, you, it's no. very subtle. It's very subtle how to use it. And I've actually even used it. Like, have you ever used it when you're angry at someone? Have you ever called someone, really? Yeah. Like, weon in malo? That's what, <laughs> that's like another level. Horrible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So what's your your favorite Spanish word? Not Spanish, Chilean. Chilean. Oh, well, Chilean, it's actually, I think it is I never know if things are Chilean or Spanish Me too. because because uh, I, I learned I learned 100% my Spanish here in Chile, so I don't know. But I love the word uh, columpio. Ah. I, I used to think it's uh, it's like onomatopoeia. Yeah, columpio. It's it suena. Flows. There's a columpio here in the patio. That's super lindo. Um, but that's one of my one of my favorite words. Uh, what other words do I like in Chilean? I just learned I learned new things. Every day. Because new years. sayings are invented every day here. Yeah. Uh, just yesterday, my husband said to me a new saying that I had never heard. He said, Te ves más concentrado en caldo magi. I was like, I, I mean, every day something new. So I love all the sayings. I think that's just, I think that's, I, I love that about Chileans in general. The way they talk is like my favorite thing about Chileans. So what brought you here to Chile 19 years ago? 19, well, actually, I've been living in Chile for 19 years, but I came here for the first time 21 years ago. I was at a long time ago. Uh, I know that I look so young. You're going to say 21 years. That's, you know, how is that possible? But I'm only 21 years old. No. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't think I believe that. No. no. So, yeah, I came here 21 years ago in 1990 to study abroad at La Católica. Oh, okay. uh, my university, Washington University in St. Louis, had an a interchange program with La Católica. And I came basically to learn Spanish. Like, that was my objective. Um, 
I didn't really speak Spanish at the time, so it was hard to take classes. I did take history classes, literature classes. I also took tennis and art. And all in like, Spanish? All in Spanish, yeah. Wow. So I had to learn quick. I had to learn quick how to take the micro. And, like, that was the biggest challenge, like, getting around and, like, understanding. And this was the micros in 1999. The micros were the yellow buses. You didn't experience this, these. I wasn't micros. alive yet. La micro yeah. Maria. Yeah. <laughs> you had to pay in cash and wait for your change. Like, as the bus was moving, you were hanging on for dear life. They're giving you the change. They're trying to talk to you. You don't understand. You don't know where to get off. It's very, very intimidating. La micro amarillo for the gringos is tough. So, yeah, so I came to study abroad, and then I met my future ex-husband. And then, but then we basically were back and forth. We had a long-distance love affair. Um... Then I graduated from college, and I was like, you know what? I'm moving back to Chile to see, to check to see how this goes. And I had a job lined up, so that was good. So back, basically, I moved down here with a job, with a boyfriend, and was like, let's see what happens. And I was going to say, I'm going to stay for one year, or maybe two years, and it's been 19 years. So. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> yes. I have yeah. prepared a super sexy mm -hmm. type of a, a meal here, but I'm, yeah. I'm wondering yeah. if this approves the happy Jane, uh, sexy type of a, a dinner, on say. Yes, I think the most important thing for a sexy dinner is that it, all, like, para picar, like, is the best because you don't want to eat too much when you're going to have a date. Like, that's the whole thing. You don't want to eat, like, a full meal because that is, like, the worst. And you're going to end up watching Netflix and falling asleep because you're going to be have your tummy full. No, this is the best way to do it. Like, just, a, like, chocolate, of course. I mean, it activates the same centers in the brain as uh, sexual activity. And so it's definitely an aphrodisiac and sen very sensory with the, with the strawberries. I mean, the texture. And is that melted chocolate? You know it. Oh, man. Yeah. You no, like this, this is great. Yeah. This All is right. great. Yeah. So you brought some oh. interesting things over here that um, you're going to have to teach me about because, uh, I mean. Uh, yes, I have to say. You know, I actually don't use many of the bondage products myself. I'm not in, that's not my thing, but I sell whatever people want. Like that's my, if my clients ask me for it, I have it. So actually that's the whole section of bondage. Bondage um, has to do with like, uh, ah! <laughs> 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 yeah, it has to do with um, depriving one or more senses and kind of mixing pain and pleasure. So this is. Uh, uh, it's not for my son. Like no, no. no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Actually, no. It's, I mean, it's a, a, a valid question. The whole. You know, I sell adult toys, and I have a son, uh, but, you know, nothing in my store is, like, scary for my son. Like, he has walked around in the store, doesn't, like, get offended by anything. Like, this is, like, no one's going to even know what this is. It looks like a back massager. Actually, they sell face cleaners that look very similar to this. It kind of looks like when you go into a store now, you have to take somebody's temperature. It does look like that. <laughs> so this is one of the my most recommended toys. And I call them toys because in Chile, there's a terrible word. Terrible, terrible word. Consolador. Eva. It sounds terrible. In English, it doesn't exist. You no. don't go into a sex shop and say, can I have a consoler? I want to console myself yeah. because no one loves me and I'm abandoned. No, no. It's Do you think that's part of the reason why you're trying to take that taboo out of the That has sex been my under, number one mission is that nobody say consolador. <laughs> that was my first like tarea and, and getting people to want to buy these things is say this is a toy it's this is an external vibrator and people always think that they're going to go to the store and they're everything's going to look like this right i do have things like this obviously but we'll, we'll get to that in a minute but what i most sell are things like these liquids that kind ah, of, this that, is like perfume it, it looks like it no. you could have that on your your nightstand this is a high-end lubricant it's incredible it can totally a lubricant can change your life i mean i'm going to give you a, a lube after the show because you have to go home you have a three-year-old son it's going to come in handy i'm telling you lube 
changes your life. So I sell mostly things like that or pheromones or um, stimulating gels. This is a stimulating um, oil for women. Or so I Actually, nowadays, you don't say women. You say people with vulvas. Ah, yeah, so you I never get, knew that yeah. either. Oh, yeah, there's there's people with penises, people with vulvas, or yeah. vulva havers, or, yes. <laughs> because, you know, there's all t all sorts of things in between, not just men and women. We have yeah. to know that today. Yeah. So, yeah, so I sell a lot of those, but then also more than more than a big toy, I sell something uh, like uh, this. See? Esto te da más miedo, ¿no? Esto no. Esto es como piola, ¿no? I love that word, piola. That's another word I love. Yeah. Piola. No. <laughs> it's a support in your hand. It's a it's a external massager. It turns on and off here, and it's like it could be for the clitoris, for example, or it could it could be for the perineum, which is in between. Uh -huh. the, the, in, it's in, impressive you know these words in English and in I Spanish. I know, it's hard. I have to think about it. Yeah. But in English, there's a really good word for that. It's taint. It's oh, yeah, taint, sure. Taint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Chile, ¿sabe qué es? No es me. No es me. No es me. Eso. So this is a, a very versatile uh, little massager that's really couple friendly because basically it can go in between any position and it adds, adds uh, stimulation. So it's like I think most people aren't scared to try something like this. Yeah. People do get a little bit more scared when I tell you, like, would you get scared if I told you to put this on the base of your penis? Maybe. Uh, strangle a little bit? I don't looks know. Looks like two eyeballs that are... Yeah. You know, like <laughs> These are vibrators. So, so if you have this on uh, and there's contact, then this is the clitoris. This get, it gets stimulation, and this also gets stimulation oh. below. So anyway, yeah, I have all sorts of stuff, like that vibrate. Everything I have is either edible... <laughs> vibrates or is stimulating. So, I think I know where the, your name comes from. I know, Happy Jane, right? right? Now. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's so it's very true because I've always had that that disposition. That's why we put the name Happy with Jota. Jota, yep. Jota Ape. It's like I'm Chilenizada. It's like happy but Chilean. Well, thank you so much yeah. for bringing all these things. You want to do your me? first test? A ver. So the first important thing to be able to have like um, enjoy co your company of your wife is to know what's going on down there with her. So this is a vulva puzzle. <laughs> it has all the pieces that you need to put together a vulva. That's it. So do you think you could put it together? Well, you know, I did oh, study ah! science in college, so I think I can do this, right? What do you, so what do you, okay. I feel like, you know, this should go somewhere around here. Um, I feel like... Uh, those fit in Those fit in perfectly to those, something else, to, together with something. With something, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. A good thing, yeah. Okay, good thing, good things are good. I feel like... No, maybe... You're getting there, getting there. Really? Flip them over. Hey. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. This, here? Yeah, yeah. And then this. Wait, oh, here, you're missing one hole. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, so this go. You're very close. Where does this go? Where does this go? Okay, this, this, this. Okay, I think they're fitting together really well. Ish, ish. And then this one here. Is that right? Yes. Yeah? Oh, well, they look very similar, but. Oh, okay, okay. What do they call? This in Spanish, el asterisco. No. <laughs> Down here, there you go, there you okay, go. Okay, okay, all right. He's doing good, he's doing yeah. good. Yeah, and then this? Yes. Here? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Like this? That's now a glitteris, what? which is on the top. No what? Yeah, this one is the one that always stumps everybody. Because it's I, we made it a, a little bit big, I think, in this case. But this is the capuchon, which is the hood that covers the clitoris. But other than that, he did great. Yay! Because you invited me to play one of your games, mm -hmm. I'm inviting you now to play one of my games. Mm -hmm. And this game, I downloaded a different version than what I play with my family, so it's okay. a little risque. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Putting on pants, putting on shorts, putting on underwear. Impossible. Oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I can. Paso, paso. Yeah. See, that was very hard. Ah. All right. Uh, drinking, making.
drinking. Oh, is it something to do with alcohol? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yep. Oh, you're In college, you would play. Shots. Oh, beer pong. Uh, close. Uh, the other game you would play. Oh, the other one. Uh, you play beer pong and. And with dice? What no, no, no. The other one. You, beer you do pong? this with the. Uh, Cups? With yeah. Cups? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. 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 Okay. And you. Oh, what is it called? I don't you even know. Oh, a uh, uh, sexy show. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, a, a singing show. Uh, uh, Who sings like Oh, yeah. Uh, they asked my wife to do this once in the schools. Uh, who is that? Oh, I see um, uh, uh, oh. Mm. oh what a- How I look right now. That has nothing to do with sex. No, okay. Uh, modeling. What are you doing? Mm, uh, I am very hot. Risque. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Risque. Oh, I'm not doing. Oh. I'm not doing that. Oh, A manicure. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We want to thank Hotel Plaza Nunoa for their hospitality. They have an excellent location, very comfortable rooms, and the friendliest service. Single, double, or triple rooms for your convenience. Please make your reservation at reservas at hotelplazanunoa.com or call plus 5623-210-9101. Happy Jane, I learned a lot from you. All thank right. you so much for coming on The Gringo Show for today. Oh, nice. That is a double feature. It's lubricant with a stimulating gel inside it. So, yes. And now I'm on TV with us. Yes. Great. Hey. <laughs> Thank you so much for no coming problem. on the show. All right. Thanks. This has been another chapter of The Gringo Show, and I hope that you had as much fun as I did on this show today. Let me know who you think I should invite to my next get-together with maybe super sexy food, too. And uh, we'll see you guys next week.